And there they are. The Samsa, they're getting gold and brown. <laughs> Look at that. There's about eight or nine Samsa per column. Looks absolutely delicious. They're getting gold and brown. All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We just got into Samarkand, Central Asia. This is Uzbekistan. And today, we're going for a full-on Central Asian Uzbeki Silk Road Center street food tour. Let's check it out. This is it, Samarkand, the fabled ancient Silk Road trading post famous for street food that we've been dreaming of visiting for years. And today, with the help of our local friends Shirzad and Farooz from the Uzbekistan Tourism Department, IG links in the description below, we're bringing you full on for seven unique Uzbekistan street foods in Samarkand that you're gonna love. Let's eat. And before we move on to tons of street food in this video, I wanna give a big thank you to our long-term partner, ExpressVPN, who's offering 49% off a one-year pack and three months for free using the link in the description below. It's a product I personally use, helps me bypass content restrictions and stay secure online everywhere we go all around the world. Check it out in the description below. It's a product you're gonna love and let's keep going for tons of street food. We're gonna go get some of the juiciest, most plump samsa in all of the city. And here we are. Next up is samsa. Look at this guys. Wow, full samsa. Factory, look at this, we've got four big tandoors here. They start the oven with natural wood, let the wood die down, cover it with water so it dies down a bit, and then load it up with samsa. Mazali, mazali, mazali. Awesome. Boom, and those are gonna be completely surrounded, the perimeter here, boom. Three at a time. Oh, and this is the Piaz station for the Samsa. Look at these giant machete blades. And there they are, the Samsa. They're getting gold and brown. <laughs> Look at that. There's about eight or nine Samsa per column. Looks absolutely delicious. They're getting gold and brown. Wow. Look at that, there they are. And he's gonna scrape all of these out. And they just come right out. Look at that, instantly served hot out of the oven. And look at this, they just slap them to get the beautiful crispy layer right off. That is the Samarkand Samsa for 3,500 som, which is about 35 cents. That is luxury Samsa right there. Thank you, Rachmat. Thank you. Number one. Number one. Number one Samsa. Okay, and there they are. We got eight Samsa. You can see they're luxury. They're plating them right here, and you can get them either to eat in the restaurant or to go. We've got ours here, they look gooey, stuffed with beef and onion. And there they are, the samsa. Delicious looking samsa. And they're scraping the black part off the bottom ones that are a little bit too charcoal-y with this cheese grater here. But ours just look perfect. The top ultra premium quality samsa here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. Oh yeah. That right there. That is the most juicy, wet, gooey, incredible samsa. It's like a plump croissant. It's definitely fatty. It's just bulging with beef and onion. And you can see it's a total factory production line here. Really incredible food. You have to come to Samarkand, Uzbekistan to taste that. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Rahmat. I can't believe how good those were, those <laughs> samsa. <laughs> Unbelievable. And next up, guys, we're gonna see the big, hard, non bread of Uzbekistan right here. We just got invited in. Wow. And look at this. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> oh, look at this. Giant tandoor. And he's just starting the fire. You can see it's all made with clay. Here we go. Yeah. Look at that. You cold, Ting? But it's nice to be here in Uzbekistan, isn't it? Look at that flame. 
And here comes more wood. Look at that. Wow. This is natural non. Oh, you see that ax throw? He's a pro. This is a just raging tandoor fire right here. Put in. Okay, thank you. Like this. It's good. Oh, oh. It's violent. Listen to that. Wow. Oh yeah, it's good. Wow, that is a strong, smoky kick. Very nice. Look at this giant tender that we're just pumping up. Oh, and here's the bread. Look at this. It's gonna be amazing to see how this rustic, natural, wood-fired oven is gonna produce an elegant, luxury bread. Oh, look at the art. It's incredible. Oh, and then it gets covered in a black sesame. And there they are, the coals are just starting to die down. It's almost ready. And here we go, he's gonna put the water in. This is the step, important step. In all tandoor ovens, you've gotta let the coals die down. So they just radiate heat instead of smoke. And there it is, the naan. We're gonna slap them in. Boom, look at that. Get a little water on the naan, slap it and then boom. Wow, it's just completely stuffed with naan now. And just take a minute to appreciate the sheer size of these. These are half a kilo each. So these are gonna bake for 10 minutes and then we're gonna pull them out. Ragmat, thank you. Wow. James Bond Samarkand. <laughs> James Bond Samarkand. <laughs> He's calling me James Bond of Samarkand because my last name is James. That's beautiful, look at this. Oh, mm. Really mm. that's steam. Mm. Mazali. Mazali. James Bond. James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Mazali. Mazali. Mm. Mm. Really? Very good, the water is steaming and it's bringing out that natural earthy bread aroma. Wow, Mazali. Mazali. And here we go. This is the moment. They're coming out. Oh, wow, it's hot. Look at the golden naan. Wow. Rachmat? <laughs> it's beautiful. Very good. Very good. James Bond Samarkand no. <laughs> James Bond naan, yeah. Awesome. Really, look at the color of the gold on there. Wow. They are so gold. And then here they are, they just get brought to the family. Oh, and this for me. Oh! Mmm! Oh, wow! Mmm! Wow! But that bread there is one of the best breads I've ever eaten. Look at the steam. It is so naturally fluffy. The outside is crispy. And because it's cooked with that natural firewood, it's smoky. Thank you very much. I can't believe it. He's given us two of these giant nuns we're gonna bring back home to Malaysia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Unbelievable. Thank you. See you. And next up, we are at the Samarkand Bazaar. And look at this absolutely busy bazaar. You can see fruit sellers, vegetable sellers, tons of spices. Lots of little shops around the perimeter, and that's what we're gonna go explore. And people are so friendly. Nan, Mazali, Mazali. Look at all the pickles here. It's really interesting. Mazali, Mazali. Very good. Very good. Very good. And look at all these pickles we've got here. Oh, can try. Can try. Like this. Okay. Pickled carrots. Mazali. Mazali. Okay. Wow. Okay. Try. Mmm. Oh. Mazali? Mazali. Oh, Osh wow. Osh oh. Wow, they're sweet. Those are delicious. There's carrot, there's pepper, there's cucumber, there's dill. Mmm, and it's sweet. Ragmat. 
And you know what's really interesting? We've been seeing these pickles. There's actually a bit of a Korean connection here in Uzbekistan. There's Koreans that live here from back in the 1950s when they moved over from the war. And you can see a little bit of the similarities between kimchi and all of these pickles. And look at these pomegranates. They're giant sized. And you can see that's how the juice comes right out. Oh yeah. We're gonna get a, a glass of that right out of these pomegranate. There it is, natural pomegranate. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, very good. Mazali. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And it feels so good to be in Samarkand, the ancient Silk Road city. Right here, we're early. We're gonna go see how they make Samarkand style plov. Black plov with yellow carrots. Classic Central Asian rice dish. And it's just right up here. It's gonna be good. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. And we got invited to the kitchen. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Look at this, guys. We got the process going on here. And it's black plov with black cottonseed oil. And then over here, look at this. We've got the yellow carrots and these are just being simmered. And there's orange carrot underneath too. Ooh, look at that. This is the Central Asian plov. We've got this almost al dente Uzbeki rice. And then these rich, look at the sweet onions down here and the sweet carrots. The juices are just bubbling out. And you can see it's separated with a cheesecloth here. Here we go, watch this. Oh! Wow! Look at these onions and carrots, chickpeas and raisins. Oh, and the beef. Oh! Rahmat, thank you. That's the Samarkand plav. It's got the sabzi, the yellow and the orange carrots. It's got the raisins, the chickpeas, and this giant chunk of beef and the Uzbek rice with the secret black cottonseed oil spice mixture. Oh, and chili. Perez. Wow. That is one of the joys of Central Asia right here. And we're gonna watch this process, how the rice is cooked. It's separated here in Samarkand. So you can see we're laying down a cheesecloth. Oh yeah, and here we go. Just laying down that cheesecloth. Wow, absolutely incredible. Separated from the carrot. Oh, and just a little bit of salt. Then just laying down some water all over this rice. He's just starting to mix that caramelized carrot and cottonseed oil mixture through all of the rice, and that's gonna turn it brown. You can see we've got the half finished one here. We've got the bed of carrots and onions underneath, and this is the finished one over here. This bubbling broth of joy. These carrots are so caramelized. And you can see there's all of these Uzbeki salads here too. Look, you can see this giant bowl of cream. And that goes with the bread salad, and it's gonna be really delicious. Oh, wow. And there's the beef. He's cutting it for us. Look at how tender that is. Wow. And he's putting it on the rice. Mazali. Ragmat. Look at this, guys. We got the full on plov. He just cut up all that beef for us. And it's got a bed of these yellow caramelized sweet carrots underneath. And it comes with all of these local salads, grape juice, and bread. But we're gonna try this plov, and you can just sort of clump it all together like that. Get some orange and yellow carrots, get some beef, make sure you got a lot of the juice. He added in a lot of that extra juice for us. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, those carrots and raisin are so sweet. It's like you're eating candied carrots, but they're just caramelized. That is incredibly sweet, al dente, and beefy. Mazali. Rakhmat. Wash. Number one. <laughs> and then we've also got, look at this, radish, dill, coriander, and cream salad. And you can just mix it all up. Wow, and it's so thick. And try it out. Mmm. Mmm. So much of the food here in Uzbekistan has dill in it. So it's dill and coriander freshness. Rakhmat. Mazali. Mazali. Rakhmat. Rakhmat Alim. Thank you. And here we are, back on the road. 
Next up, we're going for famous Uzbeki dumplings, Mantu. Let's go take a look. Oh, the Manti Center. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Wow. We're going down to the Manti. Here we go. This is it, guys. Mazali. We just got invited into the kitchen. Look at this, guys. This is the lamb and beef and onion and black pepper mixture and fat. The pinch, and there's the fat. And here they go, right on the steamers. Look at that. And there they are. We came into Mantu heaven. Totally worth the flight. You can already tell just from smelling these plump beauties. And they're steaming. Look at these massive Mantu. And they're being plated right here. And we're gonna get a big plate of those. Look at those. They look so plump. Wow. And there they are. The Samarkand Manti. And he's gonna add oil onto them right now. Look at this, just a little paintbrush of oil. Oh, and pepper. Oh, taste. Oh, okay. Try it right here. It's, it's Mazali. There it is, guys. The most plump. Mmm. Oh, oh. Mmm. Oh, it's so hot. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Those are some of the best dumplings in the world. And he's just plating, plate after plate of those. Wow. Wow. We're going to sit down and enjoy this feast. And here they are, guys. We've got the full on Manti lunch. But the real highlight is all of these appetizers that come on the side and of course the sauces that go with the mantu. And then we're gonna add yogurt on top of these already peppery and fatty, delicious mantu. There's a tomato sauce here. Look at that. I really love Uzbekistani food. And that is a mantu plate. Oh, look at that. It's completely dripping. <laughs> Those right there are the best dumplings I've ever eaten. They are so juicy. And the yogurt gives a sour touch with the freshness of the tomato. And the burst, they literally just burst in your mouth. Mazali, thank you. And next up, guys, we are going for local halim. Here it's called harissa. Right in here, we're gonna see this lamb and wheat stew. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. Uh, halim. Harissa. 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 Oh. Mazali. Oh, look at this guy. Wow. Zo. Wow. We got two big cauldrons here. Look at this. And this one has the wheat already mixed in. And this one, we're going to add the wheat on top. And this is where it all starts. Look at this. This is the thickest concoction. Look at this color here. Wow. It's sheep, it's the bones with the bone marrow, there's onion, and this brown saucy goodness is a mixture of the cottonseed oil and the juices and the marrow melting together. And what's so cool about this halim is that all over Central Asia, Southern Asia and India, it's all different. And here it's made with cottonseed oil. And chef is just separating out the bones now so that it can be pounded. You can see there's all these bones with the bone marrow inside that's melted in, but he's separating the bones so that this can be pounded with the wheat. Oh, mazali. And then the lamb that goes in here just slowly gets pounded. This is a labor of love here. And look at this, guys. We're weighing out the wheat over here, but this is something so unique. In Uzbekistan, we've been eating tomato pickle. And you can see there's dill, there's chili, there's local herbs, and it smells delicious. Oh, and then look at this. He's pounding the bone marrow back in to this stock. Chef is just pounding it up. Look at that, it just goes right in. And you can smell those caramelized onions and the fat and the cottonseed oil and the stock. They definitely put a lot of rich lamb stock in here. Oh, and here comes the wheat. Chef is just adding in the wheat. And this is where the process starts. This is a six hour pounding process. This one over here is just almost finished. 
This one is just beginning. Wow, it's so thick. That's gonna be nutritious and filling. Dulta, dultamos. Ragmat. And we're gonna get one of these. Oh, right out of the cauldron. Oh, it's a thick harissa. And it's gonna get the sabzi. So it's uh, yellow and orange carrot and chickpea. Ragmat. Thank you. There it is, the Samarkand harissa. The delicious wheat and sheep stew. And it's thick. Look at that. Oh, wow. Let's try it out. Mmm. 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 Mazali. <laughs> Whoa. Mazali. Whoa. Mmm. Mazali. Mmm. Wow, look at that. It is so thick. And you can taste the real whole wheat. It's almost nutty. It's so wholesome. And the beef and the lamb in there is, it's really fatty and filling. That's energy all day. Mazali. 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 Yeah, really mazali. Thank you. Wow, the Samarkand Carissa. Thank you. Thank you. Ragmat. Thank you. See you. And last up, guys, look at this. We're gonna go for shashlik, the Uzbeki kebabs. Wow, shashlik. Look at those. Mazali. Mazali. Oh, the Uzbeki Samarkand shashlik. Wow, and just look at these shashlik. Absolutely plump beef kebab. Insanely smoky and juicy. And check this out. There's this local naan that's covered in a tomato and oil. You can see cumin and you can see dill that's going right on this massive grill here. And the shashlik go into the naan. Watch this. Right in, boom, with onion, incredible. Boom. Look at the grill. It's just completely loaded with shashlik. Mazali. Mazali, yeah. And we can see there's a few different cuts here. There's lean steak, there's chicken. Incredible, smoky goodness. And there's our kebab. Look at those absolute mountains of kebab. And here we go, the shashlik. Wow, look at those juicy shashlik. This is beautiful, so juicy. We're getting a full kebab plate. And there they are. Number one. Number one. <laughs> Ragma, thank you. And here we are, guys. Look at this ultimate meat feast. Shashlik. We got the bread right off the grill. It's covered in a tomato sauce. You can actually see cumin on there. And then we've got the ultimate mixed meat platter. That is the beef shashlik. We've also got a few different really thick yogurts. We've got plain. This one here I think is with coriander. And then this one here I think is a paprika and chili. There's also this tomato sauce for the barbecue. And then look, there's this tomato soup with pickles in it. But first things first, we gotta go in for the ultimate beef kebab. And you can just take your naan and wrap it up like a meat pocket and slide it off. And then you can load up the onion. These are covered in vinegar and then go for it. Mmm. Oh. Mm. oh, it's so juicy. And the meat is fluffy. Oh, and the onions are sour from that vinegar. And then next up, we're gonna take this barbecued bread covered in a tomato sauce and then dip it in. It's like a, a barbecued garlic bread with a spicy tomato soup. Mm. Let's try a tomato here. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's like a dill tomato soup. And then let's take a little bread and get some of that spiced thick yogurt. Look how thick it is. This is some good stuff. Mm. That is definitely spicy. Mm. What an amazing meal. These salads and yogurts open your appetite for the meat. Samarkand in Uzbekistan, one of the true cultural hubs of the world. You gotta come here for this food and this culture and this history. Rahmat, Mazali. Thank you. Make sure to click that bell notification button down below. Click the subscribe button as well and leave us a comment as well. Samarkand has been amazing and next video we're bringing you to Bukhara for even more street food. Thanks a lot for watching.